hello guys i'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to um this tutorial in this particular tutorial we'll be taking a look at css reflex we'll be taking a look at css flex box so basically we'll be taking a look at how to properly lay out our content on our web pages so so basically i just uh, I've not really done anything serious uh, so basically I have created my HTML file already which I know by now you should know how to do it but if this is your first time watching this tutorial I have no pre knowledge on CSS then I will advise you to check out my other tutorials on CSS before you come to this because it's kind of it will be like it's, it's kind of advanced okay now i just have my css file to have created and i have these boxes which i just style basically i just change their background colors and just did some small widths and padding and stuff and i think I, I, I in my css box model tutorial i explain all that and they are all in my channel so you can check that out yeah maybe i'll, I'll just insert the uh, link to the particular to that particular video in the description below um, so guys basically let's talk about flex box okay so flex box basically is a layout technique which is used to properly lay out our contents on what our web pages then now let's take a look at this our contents are going to be laid on either vertical or horizontal which technically in CSF flex box we call the main axis and cross axis the main axis is always on the vertical or the horizontal then the cross axis is on the vertical so some of the properties that you will, will be working with are actually on the cross axis and others are on the main axis but not the other way around and by default our elements are always on row they are always in a row format that's by default that's how they are placed they are always in a row format that's our that's flexible items so if you have your container set to what flex box or if you have your container set to flex your, your display property set to flex then they are going to be in a row format by default but you can also change that to what a, a, a column one format so right now we didn't just do any flex box here so you see right now they are all on what this column because we've not set our flex box yet so if you come here if you come here and you say now this is our container and say display then you say flex and save see what happens now they are on a row format so by default they are always on what on row format or on a row or they are always placed on what the main axis so we also have flex direction so the, the flex direction establishes where the main axis that is that's the definition or, or by or defining the direction the flex items are placed in the flex container flex box is actually a single direction with layout so as i said earlier you can also change it to column you can also change it to a column uh, display flex so if you want to change it to color all you just have to say is flex direction just say flex direction then you say column then when you save you see they are now it's now back to what the default what, layout that's if only it's not a flexible container okay so you can also see row then you save then they are back so that means that setting this flex direction to row doesn't make sense because by default it's already in the row format okay now by default flex items will always try to fit onto one line and you can change that and allow the items to wrap as needed so basically let me add some other word boxes so for instance let me save this now guys see what's happening you can see that all these what uh, boxes are on the same line that's what the browser is forcing to do and even on a smaller device on a smaller screen device you can see there's a horizontal or scroll bar provided for us which i don't think is ideal this doesn't look nice so all you have to do is just say flex wrap flex wrap then you set it to wrap yes 
so our browser when we set it to brow wrap our browser will work by default you know our browser will change it from the default settings and wrap it as necessary so let's see and see what happened boom now we can see that the browser have wrapped it what multiple lines and now they are layout what in the two uh, you know dimensional format which this now idea we can see that if you will check it on larger screen we can see that at when it got to five the rest of the content started what uh, went to the next line which is ideal i think this is neat as compared to we having everything on the same line okay so now uh we also have what justify content so with the justify content it defines the alignment along the main axis so it helps distribute extra free space were left over when either all the flex items on a line are flexible or are flexible but have reached their maximum size and it also exerts some control over the alignment of items when they overflow the line so basically let's say justify content so we justify content there are quite a number of stuff you can do so by default it's on flex stats that's how the brother that's what is at the first at the beginning of what our container so when we save you see nothing happens let me take off these box let me just comment out them then we see what happens you see this is at the beginning i just added some default pattern to the last one but it's at the beginning of the container so what may see okay can't i shift it to, uh, to this end to the far end yes you can do that so all you just have to say is justify content then you say flex end then you see then boom it goes to the what the far end of the container okay one may also say right now there's no spacing between them one two three four there's no spacing what if you want to you know uh basically add some spacing between them Am I going to use margin? No. Of course you can do that, but it's not ideal. All you just have to say is space between. Then you save. Now we can what? Clearly see what some spacing what between our boxes. Okay. You can also say space around. And look at what the space around that. When you say space around, it acts some extra space. It acts some space in what? Some space at the beginning and at the end of what? our container okay we also have what let me just comment that out yeah so let me just comment this out then send it back to mobile format okay then with this let me give it a height of our container let's give that a height of let's just say 50 let's say the viewport height to 50 okay so now we we said justify content we said justify content flex what starts flex starts will always be at the beginning and that's only main axis so what of the cross axis so with the cross axis we used align with items so when we say align items then we say flex start we can say flex start then we save now guys see what happens with a flex uh, ally items set to flex that our items are pushed to the top that's what on the cross axis then what if we say end then we save we can see that they are pushed to the bottom of what our container so that's how we can actually what uh, you know that, that, that's how we can leverage on what this align items and they justify content okay let me just comment all that okay yeah so all this we can just leverage on that and do amazing stuff with that so also we also have what so right now let's start to um talk about or ask some do uh, work on some properties with our flex items okay this is what the container this actually the entire this is the container this uh, kind of deep blue color is our container and these are what our children the boxes inside our the flex what items so right now let's do some other stuff with them 
sorry so let's do some stuff with them so we'll have what a property called what? flex brew and with the flex grow it defines the ability uh, the ability basically for a flex item to grow if it is necessary and it has no unit and it dictates the amount of the available space inside the flex container the item should work should take up so for instance uh, let me even take up this height let me save this so right now we can see that there was some extra space in here so what if you want this our fourth box to stretch or grow to this what extent all we have to just say is we'll come and select that so let's just say dot box four they will say flex grew let's just say one and save that and see what happens so when you say flex grew one guys you can see that it has stretched to this far end of what the container if i remove the pattern you actually see that it has actually covered the entire web. now you can see it has just gone straight to what the container like the far end of it so let's comment that out okay so let's change this one more time to let's just say the first box and see what happens so we can actually also see it also stretches to the what uh, you know with respect to the other one boxes so let's say we have what let's just copy that a couple of times there are four boxes right okay so let's just say this is box two sorry so let's just say this box two and this box three then this box four so let's just what they are all they all have a flex group uh, you know value of one one then let's say this is what let's set this box box no let's set our box three to two so what are we doing here we'll set our flex group properties on all our boxes to be one except three which we set out to so that means that it's going to grow twice as the other what boxes so when we save see what happens so we can see that this is what twice box one three is twice box one box two and box four let's even change it to something big and say four and see what happens you can actually now see that so this is four times the boxes so let's just say also one and save then you can see that they are now what of the same what sizes okay so that's how we can leverage on that we also have our flex basis and the flex basis defines the default size of an element before you know the remaining space is what distributed so what this also does is so let's save this well, let's just put it on smaller screen here. so let's just say let's comment this out I will say flex basis but with the flex basis it has a unit so we we'll just say flex basics so let's just say um 400 what pixels then we save now see what happens so it also grows but this technically is not the same as what that the, with the flex basis it sets the initial what value before the rest of the content is what distributed okay so let's um I'll comment this let me just comment only these boxes out then we set then let's see flex basics we set that to also 400 pixels and save and see what happens so we can actually see that it sets that initial size before the rest of the content is what is distributed so that's how we can also what leverage on that so let's just um comment out this now we also have flesh strings and with the flesh string it just specifically define how we want our item to be what strength so let's say flesh string 
when we set that to zero we say flash screen to be zero our box one to be zero and we save when we are when anytime we are sh uh, you know we are resizing our browser window this particular what item will not be shrinked no matter what see what happens when i try shrinking it you see the other ones have started overlapping they have started what shrinking so you can see that both two both three have started what uh you know their sizes have started decreasing to respect to the the broader size the uh, browser size but one still stays at where it is the size is still the same it's not what moving so what if we change that to what so with one it will what shrink so you can see that it's now what shrinking so to even to see this clearly Mm, let's just have only box two word. Let's just have box two shrink. Let's just say box two flesh shrink and we set that to zero. Then when we see, see what happens. So we can see that we can actually see that when we start to shrink or we start resizing our brother window one three and four starts to shrink but two still the size of the two still remain the same it doesn't change so that's how we can leverage on that okay so until we want to even individually you know uh, uh properly lay out this our items so there's also another technique called align self so let's see align self so let's say align self we can set our align self to what let's just say flex in let's see if let me increase the height so guys see what happened so you can see that it has actually you know what align itself to the end of the container and it, it has not what actually what uh shrinked it actually you know you see we can see that all this the size are bigger than it but we've not changed the size of this but with the alliance self, it actually what it decreases the size and it it, it just push itself down to the what uh beneath it's uh, beneath the container so we can also see start then we see then it goes to the top so i think let's just play with this more um so actually let me just comment out all this so box two let's say box two we'll say box two should align itself to the bottom then this should also it should align itself at the center at the center then box four should be at the top so we just say flex start then we see now guys see what happened so we can see that they've decreased their sizes one and they've also what box one of what align itself to the top box two have aligned itself to the bottom box three have aligned itself what to uh, the center then box four to the what the start so let's just uncomment all that okay let's save so basically guys these are some of uh the ways you can actually uh, leverage on these what uh properties so flexboard is comes handy and it's very very important you know if especially if you are working or uh, if you are developing a website that will fit on smaller screen devices leveraging on flexbox is a very good technique uh we recording a tutorial on css grid too then we also see how we can also leverage on css grid they actually they, they work hand in hand and, 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 and using all that you can actually develop a, a, a nice looking responsive web website for your clients or for anyone yeah so guys basically i will you know um like to bring this tutorial to a closure and like this video and also share it with your friends and subscribe please guys if this is your first time and if not subscribe yet please subscribe to my channel and 
I'll see you. Bye bye.